Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Crusader Kings 2 Fall of the Western Roman Empire campaign. So in the last episode, we decided to go after, well, we usurped the title of, what was it? Uh, Catalonia, the, the Duchy of Catalonia, or the province of Catalonia. And so that split the remaining faction that was there into two essentially independent provinces. One of which was um, Ampurias, and then the other one, Barcelona, basically. And so I decided to go after Barcelona because it's potentially a very you know, powerful province. It's got a lot of building slots and a lot of castles. So uh, we're currently still trying to resolve that war. We had to take a little detour because we had a peasant revolt in Spain, which we put down very quickly. We also have a host on the way that we'll have to deal with, uh, and that could get quite ugly. So um, I'll be prepared to call in our vassal, or excuse me, our vassals, our allies, if necessary. Unfortunately, uh, I think one of our vassals, um, the one that we've been able to re rely on pretty heavily, is going to be a little bit too tied up to help us much, but our allies to the north here could still potentially help us. So we'll see. Um, we also have, let's see, Ruler Unmarried, I know, Unlanded Sons, yeah, I'm aware, there's a couple sketchy inheritances, let's see, so, why is that a problem? Might pass from our realm, why would that go from our realm, it's your son. Does he have land elsewhere? I'm a little confused on that one. I'm not sure why that would pass outside our realm. This guy's heir, again, is his child. Which is, yeah. Generally, they only pass outside the realm if they're being passed on to somebody who is already, like, a ruler elsewhere. Or if that person is, like, tied down in another faction, but... I don't see why either of those would be the case here. This kid is in that faction. And so it would just, you know, he's already there. I don't know why that would change anything. And, yeah, see, this one looks like it could be a problem. So you are part of a different faction, which is not within my empire. So that one I could see being an issue. Which, eventually I'd like to have laws preventing that. Um, that would be under here. Maybe High Crown Authority? We should... Let's go after High Crown Authority and see if it helps us. It says vassals can now wage war, but... That doesn't make any sense. Um, apparently, they proved it instantly, or they didn't need to. But we'll see what that does. Um, one last thing I wanted to do before we get started is... I have far too many duchies... I need to rid myself of some. So this one needs to go. I don't know why that's being highlighted. It should just be these four. So let's see. Is it worth giving you land or a title? I'm not sure, to be honest. I could give it to this guy. None of them are particularly fond of me. He's been a real thorn in my side for a while, though. Um, I'm tempted to give it to him. But Salerno here is where it should be. I mean, he is, I think, probably the most positive toward me. Well, you guys are roughly tied, so it's a toss-up. Can I throw money at you? I can. That will bring him into the positive. Then we'll go ahead and give him the title. That one. There we go. Not the lower titles though, just the one. And so that's cleaned up a little bit now. These guys were all my vassals and this was independently an archbishop prick. Now it's uh, still an archbishop prick, but with all the stuff it should have had. And he's going to like me quite a bit more now. Who is your heir, by the way? Can I appoint an heir for you or something? That would be nice. 
Anyway, that's one down. So, I still have other provinces I need to distribute. One of which is apparently out here. Uh, are you the only two in there? It would appear so. So I have to choose one of you. To give Cantabria to. The issue is... Well, I'll probably give it to you because you're going to like me. This guy's going to hate me. That worked out quite nicely. Um, why do you like me so little? Too many held duchies. Um... We could potentially raise our relations by 40 just by no longer having that province and then by giving it to him that'll bring it up even more. So he's definitely the right choice. Uh, wait, what? No, no, no. Don't revoke. Uh, where is it? This one, right? Yeah. So there we go. And we're up to 100 now. We still have one too many duchies. So, which one do we want to get rid of? Probably not that one. That's like our ancestral home. That's part of Rome. I can't give that away. And Catalonia. So, I'll definitely have to give up Catalonia. That one's quite large, actually. Hmm. I'd also like to keep that, because if I give it away, I could lose... Barcelona. So I think I need to hold on to that one. The issue is I don't want to give up any of the others. So I have to just resign myself to taking that minus 10 or find a different solution here. I could... I don't think those count against me though. You guys will have to let me know if that's the case or not. Because it says too many held duchies, which of course is this rank here. I have three of those. But the kingdoms or the diocese don't seem to count against me. But for all I know, it could just be counting all of them together. And so maybe getting rid of a diocese would help alleviate that. Because I do have a couple dioceses I intend to get rid of anyways. But I'd really rather not give up this. So that is potentially problematic. I could give it away... Uh, there, there's probably a way I could manipulate it so that I give Catalonia away but keep this separately. But then the person who holds that title will always kind of resent me for uh, having this and it not being where it should be. Because it, it would be du jour theirs. So that would be potentially a problem. But I could like you know, give it to him or something. I, I don't think this kid's Roman, no. Really doesn't like me either. So, yeah, I'd probably give it here. We'll see. We'll see. Not something that we need to worry about immediately. So let's get things rolling. We'll try to clean up this war as quickly as possible. And we can kind of guess where this guy is. I don't know, to be honest. Is he moving by land or by sea? Got a dangerous faction. That independence faction continues to grow. That does remind me, actually. Let's pause briefly here. Oh, there he is right there. So the game lied to me. That's a lot of ships. Does it say how many men? Well, 200 galleys? I think that means he could have up to 2,000 or maybe more. I don't, I don't know. It's usually... I know when I try to load troops, I need roughly a tenth of the number of men. So if I have 6,000 men, I need at least 60 ships. So, wait. That's a hundredth. So this could be 20,000. Yikes. I don't know if we can take that on. Uh, maybe with some mercenaries we could. And we can certainly afford mercenaries. I think we should probably start calling stuff up now. Because obviously they're here, it's just a matter of where they land. So I'll call it my own 15,000. And then we'll call in the Legion. No, I didn't mean to do that. I totally screwed up there. I just cut my army in half. Um, that's okay, because we don't need those men out there. 
So I'll raise these guys again, but I'll raise them over here. And I'm going to spend another 450 for this giant group here. Actually, is that the best one? Let's look at compositions before we spend anything. That's a lot of archers. I'm more interested in like heavy infantry. You have a little bit of heavy, a little bit of light. You're like all heavy, more heavy cav. I think this is the better investment. Okay, that's a lot of troops. So let's merge you guys there. Merge. And everybody in Italy will head to Rome. We'll call in some ships to help get you guys where you need to be. But yeah, we're going to center everything on Rome. And form our defense from there. Let's get you guys to here. And I'm willing to bet that you are probably better off meeting them there. You know what, to be honest, I feel like that's not that much further than just walking here. You guys, meanwhile, will need to get on a boat as well. I wish there was like a land bridge or something so that we could like walk to here. But no, they have to get on a boat if I want to send them anywhere. We'll drop you off here and you can just walk the rest of the way. And then this group will head, yeah, we'll just send you to Rome as well. And you guys, maybe come down here and help out. Okay, so let's watch this play out. My biggest concern is that they land somewhere and cut off a bunch of my troops. Oh, we got stables done in Milan, keep done in Terracina, which is in Rome. So we could build something else if we wanted to. I'll probably wait because I did just spend a lot of money on mercenaries and whatnot. Can I tell him not to? He's not part of my faction, so I'm guessing he probably won't listen. Oh, he will. He might be part of our faction, to be honest. I don't know for sure. Uh, I don't like people fabricating claims. Oh, can't do anything about it. Okay, let's just get rid of this then. Let's see what they're trying to do. Uh, it looks like they're trying to get to Rome. Oh no, they're going to land here. Well, hopefully we're prepared. Okay, um, we caught them over there. Good. They're going to return back to Barcelona, so let's follow them. They have... Is that it? 4,000 men, is that really the best you could do? I'm going to be kind of upset if that is, because I just spent like a ton of money assuming the absolute worst. Because again, that could have been up to 20,000 men on those ships. They had the space. Is this going to be the end of his little host here, like straight away, just crush them? Okay, so we're victorious there. Keep following. You can go with them, and we'll just kind of meet them there. Um, follow them? I, I don't know what direction they're retreating in, but we need to cap or follow them. So disband, you guys. There's no point in you even bothering at this stage. Oh, some of them went by land. But not a lot of them. You guys need to disband, because if you get caught, you're going to get crushed. And I don't need you giving them free war score. But yeah, we got 74% war score from that, so I think it's pretty safe to assume that that was the bulk of their men. We'll gather this group together, and uh, as soon as we crush the force down here, we'll march back up there and handle it. Oh, they're going the opposite direction. You guys merge, head that way. Merge, try to cut them off. Um, let's see. Give me everybody here. Start marching that way. Boats disband. God, I can't believe I wasted so much money on that. Let's go to military, and I'm going to dismiss you. That's 10,000 men, but I don't need 10,000 men. 
and I'm paying them a lot right now. So we'll do that. Brings me down to basically 7,600 instead of like almost 18,000, but not a big deal. Okay, so we'll try to head them off we're doing the same over here. Well, we're trying to just run them down to crush them. And then once we crush them, we can go ahead and start this siege. Which, it's going to take a little bit longer because I did, obviously, disband quite a few of my men over there unintentionally. Okay, so we've got them engaged there. If you guys could head in to join them, that would be great. Everybody, just pile in. And I'll send you there as well. Nope, just straight in. Got him cornered. They're going to continue to try to join up. I don't know why they haven't just fled and given up. It'd be nice to take this guy captive, though. If at all possible. Um, Just go here. I am curious, though. Oh, we've already won. Are you any good? Not really, to be honest. He's stressed. Apparently this was a very stressful endeavor for him. Um, do I just end it now, or do I want to crush their forces first? Let's just end it now. There's no point in drawing this out. So we'll offer peace. Hopefully we take him prisoner. We do. Now then, what do I want to do with you? Could I just execute him? I think I should. How much for the ransom? 46? Uh, it looks like he is like, um... Yeah, so he's, what, the heir, potentially? Yeah, this is heir. Actually, no. It's his eldest son, but it's not his heir. His heir, it... It's probably like an elective monarchy type thing. Oh, interesting. It's, his heir is his liege. Well, I'm gonna kill you nonetheless. Okay. And you guys can all go home. Man, I can't believe I really overdid it there. But again, I saw 200 ships and there was no way for me to know exactly what I was dealing with. Well, we converted a county. Not the one that we're trying to, though. Okay, we've cut them off, or at least made them think we were going to. So we've got them cornered again. Dangerous factions. This guy really hates us. Let's go for maybe kidnapping you? Oh wow, there's very little chance of succeeding there. I'm not going to execute that guy yet. Um, let's see, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got two groups here. Give me the smaller group. You go after them with this unit. The 5,000 men that are here can begin the siege. That should be the most efficient way of dealing with this. Uh, what's all this now? Oh, okay. So the, the war that we were kind of roped into that we didn't actually ever participate in ended. And apparently it was effectively a draw. I'm just going to get rid of all this. Can I end that plot? Nope. Okay. Right. So that's all out of the way. Do I have an ambition, by the way? I'm trying to befriend a priest, right? I think we're like out of ambitions at this point. Okay. You guys should be able to handle that, no problem. I'm wary of assaulting this, but I might do it anyways just to speed this along. I'm going to do it. We'll lose men, but whatever. We're not going to lose that many men. So that gives us what we need. Nope, nope, nope. I want to end this. Come on. So that was worth it in that case. And that goes to... Really? So it's still his. I find that surprising. I find that very surprising. Why is this not mine? Can I just, like kidnap you and revoke it. I guess I could do that. I might do that. We've got raiders. Um, since you're here, 
Go deal with them. And then we'll disband you. Willing to bet you're probably still not too inclined to... Yeah. Hmm. I guess that didn't go to us because of the the claim that we used. We used sort of our du jour... Um, what do you call it? Like our, our, no, come on, guys. There we go. Our du jour claim over it, not our nec not necessarily a claim on it. So it just made him part of, you know, Catalonia, which is still mine. But uh, that's why it didn't go to us directly because we didn't have a claim on it directly. We had a claim on it being part of Catalonia. As much as it pains me to you know, relinquish it. I think we will go for... Well, I should worry about this faction first. So how can I get rid of him? Is there anybody I can bribe to remove from here? There's like a lot of people that just don't like me. And he continues to be a problem. Maybe I will do what I suggested before. So... My thought is... And that, this just removes him from being my vassal. So, he can still cause problems. It's not going to get rid of this faction, but he won't be my direct vassal anymore. My only concern is like, okay, so she has a son. The son's fairly fond of me. And this is a very long-lived dynasty in our empire. I think I'm going to do it. This will be the first person that we give a uh, king level title to, or diocese to. So we're going to give her the diocese of... Where is it? Oh, I have to create it. Right, right, right. Um, we'll worry about that one later. Not what I'm looking for right now. That's the one. How much? 233 and 200 piety. I can live with that, I guess. Okay. So we've created that title. And now we will bestow it upon her. And that will give her all of that territory. Cool. And that appears to have removed the dangerous faction warning, which is good. That means it did what I intended for it to do. It just removed the faction entirely. Nice. And so she is now my most powerful vassal. Because she's a queen. But she is a very loyal queen. Though I do worry about you know the fact that she's going to die soon. And her son might not be quite as loyal. But we'll see. Okay, so what to do next? We have similar titles that we could hand out. I'm just not like super keen on doing that. Like, these guys have continually been a problem for us, and I don't know like where the capital of a kingdom in this area would even be. Like, potentially here. I still need to deal with you. So I could revoke this. But then who would I even give that to? Let's see. Yeah, I don't know that like anybody else is necessarily worthy of it. He has the two most or the two largest provinces in in that prefecture or that's the other way around. This is a It's so confusing because I don't know what to call these you know, like map tiles, anything other than provinces, but then they're actually prefecture level titles in the linguistics of this mod, so it's it's a little bit tricky to kind of navigate. Anyway, he's got the two wealthiest areas, territories, in this provincial spot. So I can't really justify giving it to anybody else. But he's going to hate my guts. How does your son feel about me? Um, well, if you got thrown in here, you probably wouldn't live very long. 
so let's let's go with that one and we'll see what the sun is like hopefully the sun is a little bit more in line with our expectations and he won't be a problem okay nice we've got a new city uh, I just became a baroness of something I need to rid myself of that title this one here do I have anybody in my court that could do that uh, they just need to be lowborn doesn't matter who they are I probably should invite a bunch of people in now that I think about it um yeah let's let's do that let's invite a bunch of characters so first of all they need to be men we have a bunch of women in our court that we can marry two people we just need them it doesn't matter if they're married can't be rulers though join court yes um, my religion my culture group okay let's get to inviting all right so anybody who was younger than 40 that met those qualifications got invited and we'll just have to wait for them to arrive um, anybody who's lowborn can go ahead and take over this for me um, preferably somebody that's you know moderately decent uh, I will build some walls around the city that seems wise and we need to really start earning some money back. But I think we can go ahead and I don't really need to do any other plots. So let's plot to kidnap you. I'm just going to kind of put this on autopilot. I'll auto invite and just kind of let it play out. Right, right, right. So keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Um, in a moment, I will go through and see who needs to be married and whatnot, and who can take over this title for me. So many, so many people. Uh, is that it? Nope. Spoke too soon. <laughs> uh, he appeared to be married, or one of them was. There's another. He was married. And that's a different thing. All right, so Flavius Salvarius, this is our grandson and heir to my heir. He asks, why do people die? So this is a tough one because there's a lot of different things that can happen here. It's not super straightforward where we're guaranteed a good trait if we do one thing. So they're too carefree. There's a good chance he becomes patient, but there's also a chance he becomes craven or slothful. Patient is good. Craven and Slothful are not. So, this is tricky. He's already patient, though, from the last thing, so I probably shouldn't take that chance. Um, everyone dies sooner or later, risks either brave or arbitrary. Brave is good. Arbitrary is not. Or we can say it's all part of God's plan, which will make him either proud or honest. And it looks like honest is kind of weighted there. Which isn't bad, but it does hurt your intrigue a bit. So he would become a very good diplomat, but not a very good schemer. And I kind of like the balance he's got going on now. So... God, none of these are great. Um... If this was flipped, if it was 70% proud, 30% honest, I think I'd choose that one. I wouldn't mind him being proud. Because proud is, there's no downside to it. But with this one, I really don't want to hurt his intrigue. Arbitrary is just too bad a trait, though, to risk this one. Brave would be great, but 50-50? I can't really abide that. And then this is 60-40 in favor of patient, but he's already patient. So this is basically... 60% chance of nothing, 40% chance of a bad trait. Where this is a little bit worse odds, but at least we stand to benefit. Um, and then this is 70-30. God, they all suck. Um, I don't know. This seems like the safest bet because neither of them are bad per se, but I'm tempted to go after Brave, 
Because his martial skill is the only thing falling behind. And this just benefits him in so many other ways, too. Should I do it? Uh, I'm going to do it. No, he's arbitrary. We'll have to see if we can do anything about that. Well, that's what I get for risking on something stupid. He's still not bad. He's just not as good as he could be. Um, they might get away from us here. Yep, they got away. Oh, they're coming back, though. Not sure what their intent is. Wish we could just, like, march out and attack them. Okay, there they are. Go ahead and hit them, please. And we should go into our court and deal with all these new members of it. Why did I click on that? I meant to do this. Okay. Court, court, court. You're new. You're already married. Um, you are not lowborn, though. So let's see. Claudius, you are lowborn. Hmm. You might be too good to just make a, or give a low level title like that, though. What about you? Pretty well rounded. Not lowborn, though. You're not lowborn. You are. Um, I guess I could give it to you. You you got similar stats to what was it, Claudius? But you're a little bit worse. Let's find you a wife, though. Doesn't need to be highborn or anything. Um, just somebody roughly his age, which I don't think we'll be able to find necessarily. It looks like they're all highborn except for her. Okay, well then who's the oldest? A couple at 20, 20 or so. Um, I guess I'll have you marry him. We'll make that matrilineal. Okay. And so he's got a house now. Interesting, like, so he's Roman, but they gave him a very Canterburyan thing there. Whatever. Grant landed title. Give him that municipium. Municipium? You know what? Maybe not. Because he is pretty decent. We might be able to find a better use for him. Let's keep going through here. So that was you. We got Gaius here, who's already married. Not the best. Um, do you guys have any children? No, but you're young. Maybe I'll give it to you, because you're not very good. Yeah, why not? Okay. So that title... Oh, wait! No, that was right, right? It had to have been. It was the only one. For some reason, I thought I gave him something in Rome, and I was really concerned, because I obviously had nothing in Rome to give him. But no, I did that right. I don't know why I was so worried about it. Anyway. You guys are marching on them. I don't really have any other titles to give out right now. Do I? Not that one. Not that one. Um, no. Spalatum is where? Yeah, right. Don't want to give that away. Venice, Milan, Rome, Salona is a duchy. So yeah, I don't have very many provinces, so really nothing to give away here. Now if I could, you know, remove him from that position there and give that to somebody uh, more capable for one and more loyal for two, I would gladly do that. But right now it doesn't look like we're in any position to do it. There is still other members of my court that have just joined that aren't married, though. So, Claudius, let's find you a wife. Uh, who's the other one that was, like, fairly old? Her. Though, no, I should marry you to somebody who's, like, sort of Roman. Because it apparently affects the house that he creates when I do this. So I'm going to go with her then, matrilineal, and fulvus. That sounds more Roman than some of these other ones, though that's not a very Roman house either. Uh, whatever. 
that's like very Celtic or just pagan, I guess. Very pagan looking. Whatever. Um, was that, was he the only one that wasn't married? You're married. You're married. You're married now. You're not. But you are noble, so I can just marry you to anybody. Let's see. Uh, marry you to her, I guess. Sure. What about you? Oh, you're also married. Okay. Let's find you somebody. Um, I guess we'll go with the Burgundian. There we go. Okay. Galerius, you're also unmarried, so we'll find you a wife too. She's a bit old, so see if I marry her to somebody, I don't think they're going to be able to have children because if she turns 45, that's kind of it. Hmm. Well, is it the end of the world if you can't? Probably not. Yeah, you're a pretty terrible character. Might be for the best in your case. So we'll go with her. Matrilineal, there we go. You're also unmarried, but you're noble. Are you actually... Are you related to the other guy that joined us? I mean, you're of the same house. Alright, we'll arrange a marriage here. This doesn't really matter. What do you have claims on? Good to know. I guess... Um, just because they're closer in age. Alexander, also a lowborn. He's a bit older. Um, here. Matrilineal. Great. How am I supposed to pronounce that? <laughs> and Constantine here. He's the last one. Perfect. Arrange a marriage, and I have two choices. Well, she likes me less, so we'll go with her. Get rid of her from my court. And another impronounceable name. Fantastic. Okay, well, that gives me a lot of vassals that I could... Or not vassals, but a lot of courtiers I can potentially assign to different areas if I need to. As we accumulate more territory... Um, right, so we were going after the kid here, but I was going to keep that for myself, not necessarily reassign it. You guys can finally go home, and we can finally start making some money. Well, with uh, all that out of the way, I think we'll go ahead and end the episode here. So, um, the host was obviously a lot smaller and less of a threat than I initially thought it would be. Hosts can be very, very nasty, so I was really concerned, and when I saw the number of ships, I was really, really concerned, and then it turned out to be nothing. So, a little bit disappointing there, but also good, because we didn't, you know, potentially lose our empire over it. Um, we were able to deal with that major faction pretty easily, although it looks like it sprung back up under somebody else. So we'll have to see what we can do about you. Um, but yeah, this whole independence thing is becoming a real thorn in our side. We also appointed our first king or queen, you know, ranked title within the empire up here in Pannonia. And it's already been passed on once to Vicar Pascuru. Pascarui? I don't know how to say that. We'll call him Va Vicar Paz. How about that? Uh, but it is to a noble house that has been with us for quite a while, actually. They've been around a long time. And uh, this is an arid, or a territory that has been part of the Empire for quite a while. Actually, I did forget about Moesia. So technically, Moesia was a kingdom in our Empire first. Though, I don't know that I had much... I didn't, like, create that or hand it out. It just kind of worked itself out. So we won't count that one. This is the first one I've, like, you know, 
given to somebody. Anyway, that's where we'll leave it for today. We're going to have to start doing more of that, so we'll see sort of how that ends up. I have the Kingdom of Dalmatia right now. The Diocese of Dalmatia. That might change. We might start moving away from Illyria. This is like Illyria. Well, no, it's Dalmatia. Illyria is like here. They also control Greece, though. So Illyria is like this. And then this is obviously Greece. But for whatever reason, it's the Kingdom of Illyricum. Anyway, we might pass this ancestral territory of ours off to um, somebody related to us, maybe? Uh, like, uh, maybe we'll wait until he becomes emperor and then the second son can have that and the eldest son will, you know, continue with the imperial stuff. And we'll try to maybe carve out a little bit more territory in Italy for ourselves. Or we'll just keep cherry picking, like, really wealthy provinces around the empire, like Barcelona and Venice and Milan. Stuff like that. All the cities with the best professional soccer teams. Um, but anyways, yes. So thank you so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Crusader Kings 2 with you, and I look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode. <laughs>